Freedom is, uh, there is no doubt that economic freedom should be the basic, very base of whatever economic political development. Looking at these principles of economic freedom, of global competitiveness, of good governance, of regulatory uh, efficiency and open markets that uh, I have no doubt that the Philippines will continue uh, to show, uh, you know, much more progress on the, on the economic front. As different investors from different countries come in, they begin to understand the culture of each other. So they come from all over the world, but in the end, they converge in the workplace, in business associations, and that convergence leads to understanding and a better appreciation of each other. So if centuries ago, it is straight that were the reason to provoke war today, because internal relations are such, it is conversely the tool for peace. Because of empowering the youth and tell them to create whatever it is that you'd like to create, uh, collaborate with whoever you may wish to collaborate, and let's see what happens. The results have always been surprisingly positive for us. While we can demand from our government, there really is something for each and every one of us to do. We should recognize our role in society and make sure that we do um, fulfill that role to be able to achieve the progress that we need. I think what we have to do and what we've been trying to do in the Philippines, and I'm sure it's happening in many parts of the world, is to build more inclusive business models. When we work together to share and pursue a vision that can unite us, we can turn the impossible into something possible. and in the best interest of the whole, based on the universal principles and values. Whether it is in business, politics, civics, or religion, leaders set the tone and direction. In the world we live in, executives get the a sense of this and they act accordingly in the world. They really don't want to succeed. Let us in this hall remember Mahatma Gandhi, who asked us to think of the poorest and the needy. And, and so, if what would you do or what would you suggest? that could help them. Any suggestion or anything that you want to recommend which would actually affect the lives of the poorest and It is therefore crucial that we become the moral and innovative leaders of tomorrow who can chart a new path that could lead this, na this nation, this region, and the world to peace. I urge you to be those new moral and innovative leaders.